so far so good on the motor it's still charging still red on the charge port still got the solar panel going strong and uh, if I keep it at half throttle I still got an hour and about 45 minutes left Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. We are doing a review on the e-propulsion Spirit 1.0 motor system, electric motor system for small boats and sailboats and stuff. I'm at the harbor here in Kihei and I got my new boat set up. Everything's going great. We're actually doing some uh, underwater ROV sub reviews today and I thought this would be a great time to do kind of a review on the e-propulsion as well It's a full-on electric motor. This thing only weighs about 20 something pounds for the motor and about 20 pounds for the battery So we'll do a full setup here get it on the transom and then what we'll do is as we're going out To our wreck to our spot. We'll go ahead and just talk about it Listen to the sound how it sounds how much power it has and do a full review on this thing so let's get started. Just unzipping it here. Here it is in its little bag. You have the option to uh, get it in these nice motor bags so it's easy to transport. And this is it. So this is the whole motor assembly. You can see how it just slaps onto the transom here. This is the actual tiller. Really cool because it's, uh, it's kind of breaks down and it's expandable, it's collapsible. Got your throttle right here. And here's the actual electric motor. It's a brushless motor here, and there is our propeller. It's a high strength plastic propeller. And you can see how this how light this thing is. I can basically hold it out with my hand because it's only about 23 pounds, I think. 20 pounds. And this part just goes right on the transom. So of course you open up the little clamps here. And by the way, this is a uh, 11 foot, what is this called? The Hydroforce inflatable boat. Pick this thing up, I'll have the links all this stuff down in the description if you guys are interested but here we go it just goes right on the transom you can see how easy this thing kind of fits on then all we do is clamp it down of course by the way guys this is the extra short shaft this thing is available in uh, long shaft short shaft I got the extra short shaft because you know I like to launch off the shore here in Hawaii and I just wanted to be out of the way of the coral and stuff but there it is so that thing's on there and then this just rotates all the way around what we need to remember is this thing has a magnetic key so you don't want to forget this once you push off this thing actually will set on the controls just like this and that actually arms enables you to turn the whole motor on so we don't want to forget that right and then here's the battery so it's a giant uh, lithium ion battery there it is, e-propulsion. Very, very simple. You have your charge port here, and then you have your plug-in port for the motor there. So this thing's pretty simple. As you can see, we want the tiller to be on the inside. So we push it up, and it kind of locks into place. And then we can just swivel this whole thing down and over, and we're basically ready to mount up the battery. So we're just making sure that this little latch here, this release latch, is going right under this little notch here. There we go, okay. So eventually it kind of falls into place. And then we're just taking the connection from the motor to the battery. And it kind of can only go in one way, so we're just kind of twisting it, lining up the pins. See how they pop into place. And then we just lock this collar down. And there we go, so that's the motor, ready to go, all mounted up, ready to get in the water. In addition to the motor today, guys, check this out. E-Propulsion uh, sent me this solar panel and this stuff by the way guys this is all from uh, 4Cs.com they're the ones that are kind of helping sponsor this video with some of the things here and check it out this is a solar panel that we can lay out and we can connect the motor to this panel and we can actually charge this battery I'm gonna put the bimini top over there uh, we're gonna have it up here and then I'm gonna try to attach this solar panel on top of the bimini top so Essentially, when we're out there kind of boating, we can have this on the roof charging this electric battery while we're boating. So that'll be pretty cool. We're going to test all this stuff out. Looks like it's pretty easy and compact. As you can see, this solar panel just folds up like this. Only weighs a few pounds and it has a nice handle. And here's all the connection cables here. So 
also going to test this. This is going to be fun. There's also a charge controller you have to get if you're going to be using this, which I have in the boat. It's just like a little box. So cables we just want sticking out and we want this to be back towards the motor just like so and that's just going to go kind of right on the roof just like that guys and then we'll have these cables just kind of coming down through the bimini top check that out charging our battery while we're boating that's going to be so cool Okay, so we are launched and the way this thing works, we don't want to turn it on yet, right? We want to put the thing down. So of course we want to make sure the key's in and then we just hold the power on. And we're ready to go. Of course I'm kind of standing in the water, but we want to be very careful with this. And it's pretty much ready to go. So as you can see, just moving the throttle a little bit. You see how the propeller's moving? So if you twist it kind of, if you're holding it with your right hand and you kind of twist it outwards, that's forward. And then you twist it backwards, that's reverse. So we are ready to go. We just need to hop in and let's drive this thing. Twisting forward a little bit. All right, there we go. I can kind of pull this up. So if it's in the way, I've got a lot of room here. 500 watts, this is about half throttle right now. Just gonna kinda get out from the harbor. What we're doing is we're kinda going to a wreck today, a sunken boat. So we're gonna go down that way south about a mile. And we're gonna see how this works. I don't have the solar panel plugged in yet. You can see here's the solar panel leads. We're gonna plug that in in just a second. Here's full throttle. That's full right there. And I got three people in the boat, Kian, Sanaya, hey guys, they're helping me with the review today. We're going to do some fishing and we're going to do some sub diving. So this is full throttle and it's pulling 44.5 volts, a thousand watts. So that's what this thing can do. And if I kind of go down in the throttle, it's going to give us like way more time. So if I hit select here, I just hit select, it's going to tell you how many hours for how much throttle you have on. So if I'm very, very low, like low speed, about like three and a half, four hours a time, this is only gonna be like a mile per hour. If we go full throttle, which I'm at right now, let's let it sit there for a second at full throttle and let's see what it's gonna tell us uh, we have as far as time. Looks like about an hour left at full throttle. So that's what this thing can do. If you're full throttle all the time, which you hopefully won't for like a electric motor like this, you're only gonna get about an hour at full throttle. And that's why we have this solar panel, which we're gonna hook up in just a sec. Once we get to our spot, we'll hook it up. Hey guys, well, we are here. Uh, we've been just kind of traversing for about 20 minutes. We should be right over the wreck right now. St. Anthony wreck here in Wailea Kihei area and we didn't even use barely a quarter of the power. If the wind and the swell comes up a little bit we're going to be fighting it but uh, we're at our location we just need to kind of gear up. Ken's going to put his mask on and help me anchor like right over the wreck here so we have a nice spot to do our submarine testing but we'll just do a little bit traversing with this motor so you can kind of hear how it sounds in this super silent water right now so Let's do like a reverse. You see that? So that's like maximum uh, reverse. So you can see how quiet that is. And of course we have no gas or anything to deal with, so that's super awesome. Forward. Let's see what kind of tight turns we can do on a tiny little boat like this. full throttle and turning <laughs> pretty cool so you just want to match the shaft to your boat I'm hearing just a little bit of cavitation just barely but that's okay because I like the short draft of this motor for the reefs and stuff 
Anyway, that's about as loud as it gets. Let's full throttle it again here. That's full throttle and kind of turning. And you can see that you can really just hear more of the uh, wash of the water than you can of the motor. Very, very silent. So, so far so good. So let's park it on top of this wreck and let's do some wreck diving. And then we'll try to get home. I'm gonna hook up this solar panel too. So here's the charge controller that you gotta get from ePropulsion. Again, links in the description, guys. And this is gonna be plugging into the charge port here after we get it plugged into the solar panel. So let's see how we do this. So there's only one way to do it. As you can see, there's two leads. Looks like it's kind of somewhat waterproof. That clicks into there. And then this one only can go one way. This one clicks into here. And that's pretty much it. There's these little tabs, so to undo it, you just push these little tabs here. Make sure they're both clicked. Cool, so I already have a green light here. So our trip over, we're missing two of these bars here on the circle of 100%. So it looks like we're a little bit over 75%. So let's now just plug in. You're supposed to be able to be able to just plug in here just for precaution, I'm going to turn the power off of the motor first. Holding in the power. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Again, only can go one way, just like the charger you get at home. Cool, and I'm seeing this light right here. This is the charge light on the motor. It's now red. So we're getting some good output from these solar panels. Awesome. So I'm just going to kind of put this in a dry place here on the boat for now. If I kind of wanted to get this um, tiller out of the way, what I can do is I can pull it out and push it down. You see how that's not gonna be really in my way anymore? You can kind of turn the uh, motor however you want so you can get your angle of kind of drift. Hey guys, we need to get back because the wind's picking up. So let's power back on the motor and see if we have any more power. That uh, bar didn't go up any further, but I know it was at least charging it some, and it's still charging it, so we're gonna kind of leave it charging as we motor on home. Let's get this thing unanchored, and let's try to get home. Wind's picking up. Where'd you get the canopy at? Amazon. Amazon? Yeah. That's Amazon. You guys need a, ca a canopy. Uh, it's an electric motor. Yeah. Okay, about us. Okay, so we are about halfway home. We are just crossing the point of the Monokai. And so far, so good on the motor. It's still charging. It's still red on the charge port. Still got the solar panel going strong. And uh, if I keep it at half throttle, I still got an hour and about 45 minutes left. So we're doing fine, we're gonna make it home. So I definitely with this motor wouldn't recommend going very far and in very rough seas. The wind started to pick up and I was getting a little bit worried because you know in Kihei in the afternoon it starts to pick up on the wind. And so as long as you kind of come in a little shallower, you're, it seems like we're fine. But what we're doing is we're just trolling on the way back. Sanaya's got the pole in the water and we're just trolling like a little lure. Maybe we'll get something on the way back to the harbor. But so far so good on the motor, man. It's really beneficial, it seems, to have this solar panel as like security. Because even if something happens where you run out of power, at least you could like anchor and just charge it up, you know? As long as you have sun, of course. But anyway, we'll pop in when we get into the harbor, take it off, and we'll do kind of our final little pros and cons. Turtle to the right. Right where the pole, fishing pole is pointing to. Big turtle. Just like cruising right there. Three hours of operation. Man, we still got so much power left on this motor. There's also people on that beach too. <laughs> There's so many beaches on Maui, but they decided to come to the harbor. But look, that lady has a dog on us. Cookie board. Ooh. 
Cool. <laughs> That's good. Cool, yeah. We're still up there. Still seem to be working good. The wind didn't really blow them off at all. Just have them kind of strapped on with a um, little paracord right to the bimini top. And it seemed to work just like perfectly. Really nice, simple setup. The only thing you got to worry about with this setup is getting a little bit too far out when the wind and the waves pick up. We were, we were just like maybe about mid throttle, 500 watts on the way back and it seemed to push the three of us fine. We do have the boat pretty loaded up with um, submarines and gear and a cooler and some drinks. The three of us and of course the anchor and all the safety gears in the front too. So it was still able to do it. Still charging. We still have like 75% power left guys. So that was amazing. That was like a two or three mile trek. Um, I'm sure the solar panels helped of course a little bit. Just a good kind of peace of mind. And these seem pretty weatherproof. Like if it rained on it, these would, it would be fine here. Even the connections are fine. But I would be a little bit worried about this box. We've got a little bit of salt splash on it. So I'll wipe that off. But in general, it looks pretty splash proof, just not waterproof. So just keep this out of the water. The battery can float in the water. Of course, you don't want to do it if you don't have to. But uh, if it does drop in the water, this battery will float. If you wanted to, you could keep an extra battery in your boat. Overall, really impressed with the e-propulsion Spirit 1.0. Thanks for watching guys and till the next journey and the next adventure as always links down in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.